with the tags that we're talking about are uh, people-centric tags. And the goal of those tags, I just want to give a little bit of background before we go ahead and, and jump into the APIs. The, the goal of tags is to have you quickly reach a group of people within a team. So um, what it'll let you do is kind of categorize people based on the organizational knowledge that you have. And that could be something like a, a role, which is something that's really popular with our industry customers, because oftentimes the, the titles in Azure don't really reflect how people do their jobs. Um, also projects, or if people have a specific certification, it's helpful to be able to know that about people within a team. And then once tags are set up, you can actually at mention them um, in a channel or you can use them to start a chat. And then I'll just uh, run two quick videos of, of showing you how to go ahead and set up the tag. So uh, within Teams, you just click on uh, the dot, dot, dot next to the team and then do manage tags and it'll take you into a menu. And here you can see I've got a couple tags already configured. But if I want to go ahead and create a team, say, for example, I'm the IT admin, um, but for some reason, everybody always reaches out to me instead of the entire team. Uh, I would want to create potentially a, a tag for the IT team. So then that way, uh, when people go ahead and, and reach out to the IT team, they're not just pinging one person and then pinging the next person. They can just kind of get everyone in the group. Um, so the other way that we think about it, it's kind of like a shortcut to at mentioning a bunch of individuals, but uh, a shortcut for people who may often struggle to remember all of the members of a project team. So then if I am Megan, for example, and I want to go ahead and let the IT team know about something, I can kind of use the tag that was set up by the IT team and just kind of mention them within a channel post. And then what happens is, is the IT team will go ahead and get a notification. And then um, as a user, if I see a tag in a channel post, I can hover over it and understand who the members are. And then there's also that option to, to start a chat with that tag. But I can also do that from the new chat um, the new chat menu, if I want to start a chat with all the product managers, I can type out product and then it'll automatically expand to the members of that tag right now. And then uh, I can go ahead and type out my message and um, then click send. And then the people who are members of that tag will get the chat as if it were any other um, group chat. So I also want to kind of ground ourselves into you know, what, why tags are really helpful and what, why we've seen um, our customers use them. Uh, first of all, they're, as I mentioned before, role-based work is a scenario where we see a lot of customers use tags when, when people kind of understand the role of a person, but they don't really know who's working, um, specifically for industries where you have either like a high churn rate or if you have rotational responsibilities. Like say, for example, if somebody is a safety officer and that's a rotational job for people who are certified in a warehouse, you know, I would want to just be able to reach that person instead of walking all the way to the end of the floor and looking at a, a schedule on a billboard or something like that. Um, another thing that's helpful is in within large teams, um, it's kind of like the middle ground between at mentioning an individual and at mentioning a channel. So it just helps you to really like target your communication if you have uh, company-wide teams or large teams. Um, in addition to that, if there's a cross-functional project team where you want to kind of categorize a group with attributes and variables that are really outside of what you would know about a person. That's another good instance to create a tag. And then the other reason is to identify an expert or an owner. And, um, you know, that's, that's a, for example, we, we actually use that in our team to contact the legal expert. And um, all right, so now let's let's talk a little bit about um, how this relates to the set of APIs we're, we're releasing. One of the things that we have heard is that uh, it's great that you can kind of create tags and use that for targeted communication. However, managing tags is is a little bit of a challenge today because, um, first of all, uh, some some customers have their their preferences set up so that only the team owners can manage tags, and that's kind of a, a burden on the team owners is being able to keep up with updates because, uh, as you see in like that second bullet there are changes that happen within a project group, within an organization, people join teams, leave teams. So keeping membership up to date um, is something that can be a little tedious. And then the third thing is that uh, the data that people actually want to create tags for often exist in another system. So one of the things that our customers are really eager to do, um, and you know, we hope that there will be uh, on this call some people who, who build solutions for this, is uh, just taking data from one place and then being able to create a tag using that data that will always be up to date. And um, so very soon, uh, by next week, you should see the set of APIs be available within beta. And so, um, 
you know, we've got uh, two resource types. There's the there's the teamwork tag resource type, which represents the, the tag and teams, like similar to the IT admin tag that I was showing a little bit earlier. And then we also have a, a different resource type that represents the membership of the tag. And we're enabling uh, CRUD operations. And um, what we're really excited about is the ability for our customers and for y'all on the call to be able to sort of just automate a way to create, create solutions where, um, you know, uh, there's a, a tags that are being created from another system, either a certification system or even from um, from data that might exist um, out elsewhere outside of um, some of the, the traditional systems. The other thing to note is that for our first version, we're only supporting application context. We, uh, in the, the things that are happening next, we are gonna put in support for delegated permission. Um, we're also going to release some PowerShell commandlets. And then of course, um, as I mentioned, we're gonna go into beta next week or potentially as early as today, the PR is uh, is in right now to get that to get that released. Um, but eventually, we'll we'll go ahead and and release beyond beta. beta. Um, and with that, I think we might actually wrap up just barely on time. Um, thank you so much for for listening. Um, the the documentation is available, so you can kind of go in and check out that new set of, of APIs uh, in this resource, and then. If you want to learn a little bit more about using tags and teams, I've also linked the help article. And then uh, last but not least, uh, we always really appreciate hearing from you know the developer community on what else they'd like to see. Uh, if there's something that you kind of see in tags and you think it would be really interesting, like please please do add your request to user voice or um, or reach out to me. And um, thank you everyone for listening again and for your time. It's great to be on this call. Excellent, very cool, Annie. Thank you.